The GSM-60 is a gas sampling monitor that can accommodate up to four channels. In this video, I'll be walking you through how to calibrate the ethylene oxide or ETO channel for EDMET's GSM-60. Before starting the calibration process, ensure you have the following items for this calibration. A hydrocarbon filter, five PPM, ethylene oxide, and a flow demand regulator. Before beginning the calibration procedure for ETO, you will need to connect your hydrocarbon filter assembly to the GSM-60 inlet. Note the flow direction of the GSM-60 and the hydrocarbon filter. Allow the GSM-60 to draw in the ambient air through the hydrocarbon filter for at least 15 to 20 minutes to allow the sensor to stabilize. To begin the calibration procedure, you will need to enter the maintenance menu. Press the option button until enter maintenance menu is displayed and then press the select button to enter the maintenance menu. The password you will need to enter is 1270, which is the default password. If that one does not work for you, then you may want to try 3663, which is the alternative password. Once you enter the password, the calibration submenu will be displayed. Press select to enter the calibration submenu. You may cycle through the channels using the option key until the ETO channel is displayed. Press select to enter the calibration procedure for the ETO channel. At this point, you are in the GSM-60 calibration mode for ETO. You will see locale on the bottom row of the display, indicating that we are in the zero calibration mode or locale mode. At this point, the signal should be stable. This can be verified by observing the raw sensor signal value in millivolts in the upper right hand corner of your display for stability. A small amount of movement in the sensor signal is normal. You will accept the zero calibration by pressing select to move the cursor over to the right and when it gets to the last digit you will press select one more time for it to accept the zero calibration. You will now see high cal on the bottom row of the display. Remove the hydrocarbon filter and attach your 5 ppm ETO cylinder to your flow demand regulator. There is no valve to open this regulator as the GSM-60 will begin to draw in the ETO sample from the cylinder as soon as the regulator hose is connected to the GSM-60 inlet. While the ETO sample is being drawn by the GSM-60, you will see the raw sensor signal value in millivolts on the upper right hand side of the display rise with the present value on the upper left hand side of the display. Once the signal stabilizes after about four to five minutes, you will accept the calibration. To accept the calibration, you will use the select key to move the cursor over to the right until Cal OK is displayed. The slope and the offset values will briefly be shown and will return you to the maintenance menu. Your GSM-60's ETO channel will take about 15 to 20 minutes to stabilize and return to zero after the calibration procedure. This completes the ETO calibration for EDMET's GSM-60. If you have any other questions about our GSM-60, please feel free to contact us. GSM-60
GSM-60.